Hey everyone, Kirk and Sam here from AEMEV. Today we're going to be swapping our ICB, our burner control board, from the base drive unit into our sport drive unit of a Tesla LDU. If you watched the earlier video, you would have seen us take out the limited slip differential. We had a quaff in the base drive that came out of the EL1 drift car from Napoleon Motorsport, and we put it back into the sport drive. Here we have an LDU sport drive with a stock driver board in it, and in this one we have our AEM ICB. So that's what gives you the total control over this package. So we're gonna work side by side, pull the cans off, pull the stock inverter control board off, pull the AEM off and take it from one unit over to the other and then slap it all back together. You know, you will, we will note that these were harvested from a salvage yard, so you can see the connector took a hit on both units, coincidentally, almost identical. And what about that connector if it's busted? Is that an accessible part? No, actually it's not. So the crack here, as long as you have your, your, your retaining clips here, I would run some dielectric on it, and then, you know, your connector on that, it'll, it'll still seal. Should be fine. And, you know, frankly, in this case, it's not a wet weather vehicle. Yeah. I wouldn't be overly concerned with that and these were already marked you know when we, when we took this all apart so you got your b plus we just marked the cable you know that was a plus so we talked about a capacitor in here huh. why don't we expand on that a little bit just to scare the yeah, so in here is a, is a fairly large capacitor. So we got capacitor banks here, here, and here that store energy that gets delivered to the FETs that actually drive the motor. As you know, capacitors are like small, hold in some ways like a high discharge rate batteries that have a really small capacity. These things can hold up about 400 volts, 450 volts or so. The amount of current they can carry is enough to possibly kill you or stop your heart. Make sure that this thing is fully discharged before you open this up and, and take it apart. Most cases it will yeah. be discharged. Yeah, in most cases if you've got it, they will be discharged. It wouldn't hurt to probably put a meter across the high voltage cables before you take it apart. And it, it will discharge on its own in yeah. time? Yep. When you're dealing with the inverter control board, this is all 12 volt. But these other areas obviously will carry the higher voltage, higher currents. So that's where you have to proceed with caution. The fact of the matter is, is that the, the likelihood of this still, the capacitor still having energy, it's extremely unlikely. It's all straightforward. Little tiny clips that and these slide out really easily. There's some sealant or some low grade thread locker on all these small Torx drives. This is the last one and she'll walk right out. So what I'd like to do, I start off with taking all the connectors off simply by just releasing on the locking tabs and pulling. And I then go ahead and start by loosening the two middle torque screws first, then completely removing the outer four. What this will do will let the board stay on the backing plate, and then I'll just take it off the backing plate once I remove the entire assembly so the backing plate still attached. And then swap the boards and put it all back together on the backing plate first, and then put the, everything all back into the vehicle at once. Or back into the motor at once. Yeah, there it is. And now you have the board with the backing plate still attached. Take that last screw off between the connectors. Or it comes off the backing plate. That's that guy. Or that guy. Could have sits this way. <laughs> Original control board back in. We'll put it onto the backing plate. Install one screw. Reverse the order of everything you did up to this point, and you should be in a good spot. Slide this back in there. Drop one of these small screws anywhere in there. So you're gonna have a fun time to that, 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 that really doesn't matter. <laughs> Just have spares. <laughs> Just leave it in there. <laughs> like fireworks. Yeah. So this is gonna be fun. This motor and our control in the EL1 will give Travis or whoever the pilot might be so much more power. So a lot of people don't know this. You know, Musk has been to Mars a couple times already. And if you look on this side, the slime, can you see that? Uh. It is so strange. You always try to wonder what materials these guys use and they remember what else they're doing. It is really bizarre and there's nothing on your fingers at all. So if there's one area that's just, you just have to be really, really careful about when you're going back together is do your absolute best, these four little holes for the actual big connectors. This is floating on the harness, right? So when you're coming together, 
be careful you don't catch it on the edge and keep trying to push, try to figure out what's going on. Try to get this to come through as good as possible and then just pay attention to make sure the holes are somewhat close because it will float in the hole. We both marked it with a Sharpie on the seam and to the case. So there's an indicator there. So I know when I'm perfectly lined up at that end, but I'm really going to be focusing down here first to make sure that, that plug passes through okay. And you can help it. I mean, you don't have to try to let it come through itself. Really, really straightforward. And as you can see, I gotta rotate just a little bit. My indicators are lined up, so all my, my torques are lined up. So I'll put a couple of these in, and then I'll put my salt, small screws at the other end in. So I'm gonna make sure that seal is exactly. there, not coming off anything anywhere weird. You shouldn't take any kind of force, you just kind of give it a little bit of nudge. Check the connector in, make sure that it's coming through the hole properly. And once you got that all lined up, just give it a good little push. Just like that. So you want to be careful you don't over tighten these guys. It's a you know steel screw or stainless screw into a plastic connector. Over tighten it, we'll just strip it. That little, that little clear sleeve right there, that's All our right. positive cable. That goes to the B plus side. There's an O-ring here, so I'll just gently work that in there. Try not to damage that O-ring. What you doing over there, Kirk? Waiting for the Utes. Alright, alrighty, we are swapped. The next step for this is pop it in the cradle, put it up underneath the car, snap her in, and then take her out and have some fun with it. Do you want to give up the ghost on the and talk about that? So let's not talk let's about not it until we talk about it. About it. Okay, okay, forget it. Yeah, so now um, we're at your favorite part. It is my favorite part? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yes, you are. I'm not. Like. Nope. Subscribe. Nope. Hit the button. So, uh, <laughs> closing time. I hope you like what you saw. If you... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm looking through that lens to your eye and you're laughing inside. Like I see you <laughs> laughing at me and I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> like you're supposed to do the speech in class. Uh -huh. Your friends are all looking. They're not yeah. making fun of you. No, they're, they're totally there for you, but they're just looking at you. Yeah, they're like, stop looking at me. <laughs>